It is one of the greatest days of the year at the University of Utah Medical School. The day med students receive an envelope with the location of their residency inside, and they could be going anywhere in the country. New specialist Keith McCord watched it all unfold. Keith? 92 graduates from the University of Utah's medical school just found out which hospitals that they will start their careers. So you can line up here at 10 o'clock. I'll cut that ribbon. Kansas City. Oh my God. Kansas City. Now this is March Madness. I'm going to Northwestern in Chicago. 47 women and 45 men celebrated with several hundred friends and relatives this morning. Smiles everywhere. A lot of happy tears, too. Oh, and nonstop photographs to remember the day. Scenes like this happen at med schools across the nation today, and they do it simultaneously. This is a tradition. Everybody finds out at exactly the same time. Their lives are in that envelope. University of Utah Psychiatry. Uh, general Surgery. Obstetrics and Gynecology. In the weeks leading up to this day, each of these students had filled out applications and interviewed with multiple hospitals for residency programs. But no one knew where they were headed until the ribbon was cut and everybody grabbed the envelope with their name on it. New, New Mexico. New Mexico. Mexico. This is everything. This is what we work for our whole medical school careers. It's so thrilling. So thrilling. It's a culmination of hard work. Nine years of uh, really long, long work. I'm doing pediatrics. These graduates will now fan out across the country and begin work in 29 states. It's right by the Susquehanna River. 23 of the students will stay here in Utah. It's one of the most amazing um, moments in their lives. And, and for those of us who are doctors, we all remember the day. Oh my God, we're gonna be orthopedic surgeons. Other graduates will specialize in pediatrics, internal medicine, family practice, emergency medicine, and more. So here's to the medical school class of 2017. Keith McCord, KSL 5 News. That is awesome. Thanks, Keith. Coming up in a few minutes.